Hi, this is Devin Lockett once again at the Biometrics Health Center with another holistic health tip. Or maybe this is another lifestyle enhancement tip. I'm not sure what it is, but I wanted to introduce you to the concept of binaural beats. Before I get into an explanation of what binaural beats are, I would like to give you just a little bit of um, information about how the ears work and how the brain works. We see in stereo and we also hear in stereo. Sometimes um, if you're standing on a street, for example, and a car would come driving by, you would hear the horn, you know, if someone honked the horn while you were walking down the street or standing on the street, you would hear bah, bah, right? The tone, right? The tone would uh, go down, right? as the car was driving away. Now, you know that was one sound. You know that occurred in one sound, that it was one horn. And the change in tone was because the sound waves were reaching you at increasingly um, longer periods of time. So that kind of uh, stretched the sound out, so to speak, and uh, made the tone appear like it was going down. But your brain knows, your mind knows, that what you heard was one sound. This is a survival mechanism, right? We hear in stereo. So when you hear two sounds in either ear that are very close in, in tone, very close in frequency, the brain has a tendency to try to merge those sounds. Like I said, this is a, a survival mechanism, uh, part of being a human being. The brain has a tendency to try to uh, merge those two sounds into one. And what you may hear at first is a wavering tone, like woo, 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 kind of like a siren sound. That attempt in your mind to merge those two tones into one is called a binaural beat. Now, uh, binaural beats were discovered, I guess you could say, or invented by uh, Mr. Bob Monroe. Bob Monroe, unfortunately, passed away in 1996. He's no longer with us. But he is credited as the inventor of binaural beats and uh, probably the chief pioneer in experimentation and working with binaural beats. Um, you can find a link to the YouTube page for the Monroe Institute right here. Um, I do recommend that you go to the Monroe Institute YouTube page and view the videos uh, from Bob Monroe. Bob Monroe did this research in... Uh, which led to the discovery of binaural beat uh, technology for the United States government. And in this process, he developed combinations of binaural beats that can entrain the brain to do any particular uh, job or sport very well. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. First, I wanna go into brain entrainment and neural feedback and brain frequency so that you can kinda get a little bit of background of, of uh, what's going on here. Now, here at the Biometrics Health Center, we do a lot of brain training. We do a lot of uh, training of the cerebral cortex. Um, this is part of our peak performance training as well as therapy that we provide uh, to people people on the autism spectrum or suffering from anxiety, stress, depression, uh, ADD, ADHD, post-traumatic stress disorder, bruxism, insomnia, addiction, alcoholism, and many other neurological conditions. Now, in the practice of uh, neural feedback, right, we focus on the different uh, brainwave frequency bands and their respective effects on, on, on human cognition and human behavior. For example, from zero hertz to five hertz is considered the delta range. Delta is when you're in deep sleep. So we can do neural feedback and train you in delta and get you nice and sleepy and you'll sleep very well. Uh, from six, seven, eight, around nine hertz and that area is theta. Theta is associated with light sleep or dream sleep or REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. In this zone, you can access um, the subconscious mind. You can also access and process repressed memories and repressed emotions. Above theta, we have the alpha zone. Alpha zone is pretty much where I am right now and where most people are at most of the time. The alpha zone is around 9, uh, 10, 11, uh, maybe 12 hertz. In this zone, a person is awake and relaxed and basically happy. That's what we call the yummy zone. Above 9 hertz, above 
say 12 hertz or so, around 20 hertz, we will get into the beta zone. Okay, beta is the mind state that you're in when you are paying attention, listening to a speech. Like right now, you're listening to me, you're learning from me. So if you're paying attention, your your mind is around is operating at around 20 hertz. Your mind is in beta. If you are um, in high beta, around 25 hertz, that's around the frequency band that you are in if you're trying to solve a math problem or if you're really intensely thinking about something. Most people, when they're driving, uh, they bounce back and forth from beta to high beta because of all of the uh, attention that is required in so many different areas, spatially, uh, linearly, um, movement, right? All of the different uh, uh, things that are going on during the process of driving an automobile. It keeps you between uh, 20 to 25 hertz or maybe be even higher uh, in the beta or the high beta uh, zone. Now, 30 hertz and above is called the gamma frequency zone. In the gamma frequency zone, you are um, basically, gamma is considered the unifying frequency zone. With every increase in, uh, uh, in frequency, there is a corresponding increase in physical tension. For example, if you were to train at uh, in the delta zone, you would be physically relaxed to the point of being sleepy. If you were to train in the theta zone, it would be great for um, hypnosis or self-hypnosis because you would be accessing that uh, theta zone, right? The Or what we call the alpha theta state where you're bringing the subconscious to the conscious mind or you're able to access the subconscious uh, via your uh, conscious mind. In the alpha zone, that's pretty much uh, putting you in the happy zone or the, the yummy zone. A lot of people train in alpha. Um, it's a little bit challenging at first to find their optimal reward frequency, but everyone does have an optimal reward frequency to, to train themselves into the happy zone. Some people come uh, to me saying, well, they want to study for a test or uh, they have a very intensive um, seminar or something coming up, something that's requiring a lot of their cognitive uh, abilities, and they want Want me to train them at 25 hertz they want me to train them in the uh the high beta zone i can do that the problem with that is that after you've had your uh test your ASVAB or your LSAT or whatever it is that you were uh, preparing yourself for with high beta training, then you're going to feel like you've had a little bit too much coffee and you're going to want to relax and get out of that state of uh, cortical arousal. The funny thing about the gamma zone is that although there is a corresponding um, raising of physical arousal in the uh, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and high beta states, when you get to the gamma zone, there's a little bit of a divergence. The brain starts moving super fast and the body starts being uh, very relaxed. So when you're in the gamma zone, you're actually in what is like an intense meditative state where you know your body is very relaxed but the brain is moving very very quickly now this is known as the unifying frequency this is known as the zone of um, problem solving conflict resolution um, bringing the mind and the body and the spirit together um, gamma is really good gamma is the area where I train every day now with binaural beats it's a little bit different than neural feedback because neural feedback is a process of training the brain to access these states on its own. And um, with binaural beats, we are actually entraining the brain. Okay, if I were, for example, to play a 400 hertz tone into your left ear and a 410 hertz tone into the right ear simultaneously, the first thing you're going to hear, well, you're going to hear the two different tones separately. And then very soon after that, you're going to hear a wavering tone, like a police siren, woo, 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 like that, right? That's the binaural beat. It is the difference between the 400 hertz and the 410 hertz tones, which is 10 hertz. And that 10 hertz is produced inside the brain
as an electrical signal, not as a sound, but as an electrical signal. And in this method, with this method, binaural beats, we are able to put the brain into an alpha state. If we were playing uh, two tones that were seven hertz apart, you would be able to induce a theta state. If we were able to introduce two tones in the left and right ear that were five hertz apart, you would be inducing a delta state and so on. So um, binaural beats are very good for training the brain into certain states. Now, we're gonna stop the music here and I'm going to play a binaural beat uh, sound cocktail that I put together specifically for this video. That's what you're hearing right now. So the best thing that you can do or the best way to enjoy this video is to put on a pair of headphones, okay? Enjoy this video with a pair of headphones on so that you can understand um, exactly firsthand how binaural beats are. In fact, if you just look up the term binaural beats here on YouTube, you will find a number of uh, uh, beats that are created by a lot of people um, to induce um, a state of lucid dreaming if you want to you know have control over your dreams when you go to sleep uh, there are binaural beats that imitate the effect of any drug marijuana cocaine uh, heroin believe it or not uh, so I don't really condone or uh, suggest that you experiment with those because I don't really know how you turn it off right I mean if you induce a state of uh, a heroin buzz or whatever uh, with a bin binaural beats how do you turn that off I guess you try to get a good night's sleep or something and, and, and I'm not really sure how that would work but those binaural beats are available online now the serious work that was done by Bob Monroe actually uh, enabled people to not only uh, cope with anxiety, stress, depression, there are uh, binaural beats that deal with um, uh, getting over alcoholism or addiction or uh, ADD, ADHD, or even uh, coping with autism. Before I discovered neural feedback, I actually did have a con uh, some a certain amount of success uh, with binaural beats um, on my son in fighting the, the symptoms of uh, autism spectrum disorder. Now, Bob Monroe was actually able to uh, create different cocktails of binaural beats that enabled the listener to be proficient at specific jobs, not just proficient at work, but proficient at specific jobs, okay? So we've gone from being able to train the brain into an alpha state or a delta state or a theta state or a gamma state to being able to, um, you know, uh, uh, combine binaur binaural beats together in order to make a person proficient at a particular job. He also created cocktails of binaural beats that would make a person proficient at playing any particular sport, not just sports in general, but boxing or golf or swimming or tennis or football or water polo, any particular sport. Although he is no longer with us, Bob Monroe was the king of binaural beat technology. Now, Bob Monroe and the Monroe Institute also developed a series of binaural beats that actually enabled people to have out-of-body experiences. I know this is hard to believe, but um, you can actually induce an out-of-body experience using binaural beats. If you watch the videos on the Monroe Institute's YouTube page, you'll find uh, Wednesdays with Bob Monroe, where he actually talks about, in depth, uh, the experience of leaving his body and familiarizing himself with, um, I guess, what you might call the afterlife or, or the process of uh, human beings um, dying <laughs> and their souls leaving the, the, the earth and uh, human beings waiting to come back uh, to the earth. I think Bob would probably be better at explaining that than, than me, so I think it would be best if you just looked at the uh, videos on the Monroe Institute. Now, if you would like to participate in experimentation here at the Biometrics Health Center, or what we call the Biometrics Institute, in um, the out-of-body experience, then I suggest you send an 
an email to info at biomedrx.tv expressing your interest. You have to live here in Southern California, and someone from the Institute will get back with you. Here at the Biometrics Health Center, we combine binaural beats with uh, neurofeedback, um, audiovisual brain entrainment, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, and the other brain training techniques to help people accomplish a state of peak performance, to get peak performance out of their mind and out of their brain and out of their bodies, and uh, to help people become peak performers in their professional careers or their athletic careers or their academic careers or whatever it is that they would like to pursue in life. This is just something that you can uh, use at home. All you need at home to experiment with binaural beats is a good set of headphones. If you've got some stereo headphones, feel free to just do a search for binaural beats here on YouTube and you will find a number of videos. Like I said, you can experiment with the drug beats. I don't recommend it, but if you wanted to um, put yourself into a a nice self-hypnotic state or uh, sleep or meditation or uh, to relax yourself to get rid of anxiety stress uh, depression you can induce um, uh, lucid dreams if you wanted to go to sleep and have control over your dream state uh, there are a lot of things that you can do with binaural beats it's a it's a it's a it's a cool way to train yourself we've also got um, audio files from the Monroe Institute and uh, but I would suggest you contact the Monroe Institute if you wanted to get uh, official files from them and also to participate in their programs there are a lot of people who visit the Monroe Institute every year to have what is called called the Gateway Experience, and uh, this is where people um, attempt to have an out-of-body experience. The Monroe Institute has been able to perfect the um, OOB, or the out-of-body uh, experience, using binaural beats to the point that um, it complies with the scientific method. It was, uh, It is repeatable, and it's something that you can you can do and bring witnesses along with you. So I know, I know that's sounds pretty strange and it sounds like Twilight Zone science, but here at the Biometrics Institute, sometimes we get off into the, the Twilight Zone science. Well, that's all I have to say about binaural beats. I just wanted to introduce you to binaural beats and to give you an opportunity to do your own searching uh, here on YouTube. YouTube is a great place to find a lot of binaural beats. And there are a few binaural beat generator websites that you can go to where you can generate your own binaural beats and uh, kind of blend them with each other and, and experiment with different cocktails. But I highly recommend checking them out. And... Um, as you can see here, if you listen to this video long enough, you're gonna find that uh, you're, re you, you're getting into a more relaxed state, right? And hopefully you're receptive to the things that I'm saying and to the messages that I'm giving you right here. But binaural beats do definitely work and it is a very effective brain training technology. Well, that's all I have to say about binaural beats for this video. If you like this video, please remember to hit like and comment and share and subscribe to Biomed RX TV and to Devin Lockett uh, here on Facebook. If you uh, are interested in the brain training or any of the other therapies that we do here at the Biomed RX Health Center, we are here in Southern California to help you. And if you would like to have access to videos that are not here on the public display on YouTube, or if you would like to just provide us with some financial support so that we can continue making these great videos, feel free to become a patron on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash biomedrxtv and patreon.com forward slash Devin Lockett. And as always, I would like everyone to stay kind because kind is the new sexy. Stay blessed and stay healthy. Thank you for watching Biomed RX TV.